kind of shifting focus then on to social media. I know we mentioned a little bit about that. And I think that that's something that, you know, a lot of people struggle with uh, data and privacy. They have concerns around it. So, you know, one third of all uh, adult Americans don't trust social media platforms when it comes to data protection. I mean, we've seen how many leaks um, come out over the last couple of years from Facebook and, and so on, leaking hundreds of millions of records. And then, you know, to add on to that, 11% of social media users have deleted their accounts altogether due to those privacy concerns. So given that there's so much concern around this, what are some common ways that threat actors are, are using social media to compromise accounts? Because in my mindset, if we can uh, explain to folks how these methods are being perpetrated, then maybe that gives them, that knowledge gives them the, the, the ammunition they need to, to protect themselves against it. Like you mentioned earlier, the fake giveaways, that's you know a common way that threat actors might use social media to compromise accounts. There's social engineering where they just look at your profile on Facebook or Instagram and collect, you know, valid, valuable information that you might have on there, you know, where you went to school, all those sort of things. There's fake accounts that people are just trying to friend request to you or connect with you. And um, it's just somebody in another country or, or faking their account to be somebody that's trusted. There's also like open source intelligence that they're just trying to collect, you know, as much information about your social media accounts as possible. Are, are you familiar with, uh, I think, geocaching? I, I kind of went on a rabbit hole with this, and it's related to OSINT comment that you made, where people can take, you take an image of yourself in a public place, and it might show you like, um, like a, bat, a bike rack or something, like a public bike rack. And people will be able to figure out exactly where you are and pinpoint the exact location just based on that information. If people are doing that for fun, would you say that threat actors are using that as uh, intelligence to perpetrate their attacks? Absolutely. So there's advanced persistent threats, which might be a you know government-sponsored threat actor in another country. Um, that wants to use information about people that work at certain companies to um, be able to track you down and, you know, use your information to advance their ideologies and advance their, their country. What are some practical ways that users can really secure their social media use? Some ways to strengthen social media use would be to strengthen your online privacy, going into your settings and changing it to... Um, you know, limit your personal information, review the privacy and data sharing settings, and, you know, just generally securing your account as much as you can. So as well as um, avoiding scammer and spam accounts. So people that, you know, right away are asking for money or asking for you to join some group. I would just avoid having an, a fully open profile where everyone can view and follow your activity. What in your mind are some red flags to look for when you're looking at a profile or you're like, okay, this, this guy's telling me, you know, he's a friend from high school or he knows a friend of a friend. What are some ways that we can kind of tease out whether or not this person's trying to do something malicious? I would say if their account has very little information on it, just a name, no picture, it's a very new account. Those are all red flags that this person isn't who they say they are.